Hi, my name is Sean Korn and I am a yoga teacher out of Los Angeles, California. Um, yoga means to come together and make whole and it recognizes that there's no separation um, between anything, between heaven and earth and uh, uh, male and female and uh, mind and body. And if you understand that there's no separation between the mind and body, what this tells us is that everything we think, feel or experience has an effect on our cellular tissue. Our bodies remember everything. And so if we don't have the ability to process some of our emotions like anger or unresolved grief or even uh, jealousy or obsession, those emotions have no place to go but back into our system. And uh, these emotions are, are vibration. And these vibrations become tension, become stress, become anxiety, and affect the immune system, the neurological system, and the hormonal system, and can leave us very vulnerable to not just illness, but probably most nationally, depression. And what happens is, when we're not dealing with our emotions and when we're in stressful situations, very often we also hold our breath and we do this to maintain a sense of control. But unfortunately, when we hold the breath, this also can increase the adrenaline in our body and produce more stress as a result. And so I want to show you a couple of uh, techniques that can help to oxygenate your body, uh, increase your circulation and your respiration and help you to feel in conflict in trauma and crisis that you have the a tool that you can use to help you to stay centered and relaxed and calm so you can make healthier choices that are not coming from a place of reaction but really coming from a place of understanding and compassion so every time you inhale you take in nutrient-rich oxygen and each time you exhale you expel carbon dioxide so the process of breathing deeply helps to purify the body helps to cleanse the first breathing technique that I want to introduce you to is just a very calming and very relaxing technique called the soother you simply take a very deep breath in through your nose just about maybe five to eight seconds inhale when you get to the very top of that breath, I want you to hold it, not to the point where you feel like you're gonna choke, but maybe three seconds, maybe five, and then very gently with control, you exhale it. And that also can take maybe five to eight seconds. And when you get to the bottom of that exhale, you also hold the breath before you take another deep breath. So it would be like this. You take a deep breath in, one, two, three, four, and then hold. One, two, three. Slowly exhale the breath out, one, two, three, four, and then hold that exhale out. One, two, three. Do that again. Deep breath in. Hold that breath. Exhale it out. Hold that breath. Good, and then you could do that a couple of times on your own. And what that does is gonna to help to calm the parasympathetic nervous system and help you to get more relaxed and more centered. The next breath that we can focus on is a breath that is used very, very often in yoga, especially if you are attracted to vinyasa flow or flow style yogas that integrate movement with breath. This breath is called Jaya Pranayama. And it, if you've ever heard it, it, it's very audible, even though your mouth is closed, almost like Darth Vader. The way that you would want to create this breath is by allowing the breath to travel over the back of the vocal cords. So to learn, you want to practice it first by opening your mouth. So you want to take a deep breath in, almost like you were gasping for air, like, like that, like you were caught by surprise. Or like you were sucking in through a straw and you're opening up the back of the throat. And then as you exhale, it's like you were fogging up a glass. So try that again. You inhale like you're gasping in the breath. Not really hard though, more drawn out. And then exhale like you were fogging the glass. Try that one more time. Inhale. And exhale. Now, see if you can do that exact same breath, but this time close your mouth. This becomes a little challenging. You don't want to sniffle the breath through your nose. Not that kind of a hard breath. You want to still feel the back of the throat contracting, like you were sucking in through that straw, and at the same time, you exhale it out, like you were fogging that glass. Again, inhale. And exhale. 
Try that just two more times. So you can really feel the side ribs expand here as the breath goes all the way down to the diaphragm. And exhale. Now another breath that you can do. This breath is always a good breath. I hear from beginners very often when they get into a yoga class that they start feeling overheated and uncomfortable. But even in life, there is you, you can have experiences where you're feeling overheated. If you're going through menopause and you're experiencing hot flashes, this breath is called the cooler. And what you do is you actually curl your tongue from the center drops down and the sides curl in, and you simply inhale. And for those of you who can do it, you'll feel immediately that the breath that goes through feels much, much cooler than if you were to take a typical inhale with your mouth wide open. So it's like this. And then you just exhale regularly. Do that again. And then exhale reg regularly. So with this breath, you're gonna curl your tongue. And then you're gonna gently just tip your chin slightly upward, not so much that your neck crunches, just enough to give it a little space in the throat. And then you inhale, you'll feel the cool air enter your body. As you exhale, you're gonna close your mouth, and obviously stick your tongue back in, and drop your chin just slightly as you exhale through the nose. Do that again. Tip your head back slightly, curl the toe, the, the, excuse me, curl the tongue. Close your mouth, tip your chin slightly forward, exhale through the nose. One more time, chin up, curl the tongue. Close your mouth, chin slightly forward, exhale through the nose. Now this final breath is a little bit more complicated, very purifying, very cleansing on every single level. It'll bring a lot of oxygen into your system. It can make you feel a little stimulated, uh, help to increase some energy if you're feeling fatigued. It's called Kabali Bhati breathing and the other word for it is the heater. And with this breath, your nose might run a little bit. So if that's the case, grab a napkin, a sock, your forearm. But you're gonna take a very deep breath in. And you're gonna exhale through the nose, but as you do, the diaphragm's gonna pull in and out very quickly. So the breath comes in and out in short, sharp, quick bursts. So take a deep breath in, exhale. Now you can feel the diaphragm, you can stop doing it if you're doing it at home. You can feel the diaphragm pushing in and out, and sometimes it's helpful if you put your hand right on your belly and kind of guide it. So let's try it again. We're just gonna do maybe eight inhales and exhales. Take a deep breath in, and begin. Good, take a deep breath in. Just exhale regularly through the mouth. Just notice for a moment if you feel a little, uh, perhaps lightheaded as oxygen enters your body really quickly. Ground yourself in a meditation. And then you're gonna try that again. Deep breath in and begin. Deep breath in. Gently exhale it out through the nose this time. And then just close your eyes. Take a couple of deep breaths. Notice how you feel. Hopefully a little bit more grounded, a little bit more in your body somehow centered. This is the way we want to approach our life. And if we're getting so caught up in our emotions and in our drama, very often we end up making choices that don't really serve ourselves or the people around us and can create conflicts even within our relationships. So it's really important that we take responsibility for our health and wellness and make choices every single day that help us to return to center so that we can go out into the world and be more integrated, more open-hearted, certainly more open-minded, and calm in the presence of no matter what is getting thrown our way. Um, that's my hope for myself, that's my hope for you, and keep breathing. Namaste.